Tom, is the guy who shit in Nancy Pelosi's driveway here or not? Yeah, my bad. I don't want to Fuck! interrupt anybody. No, that's fine. Passion. Talk about shitting in the driveway of the Speaker of the House. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. That Hell proves yeah. that there's a God. <laughs> Talk about that big fucking shit you took in Nancy Pelosi's driveway. Please, God, save us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I was uh, listening to you guys earlier. Really. I actually, uh, I had been holding my shit in for about two, two and a half days. Um, I was literally on the streets of San Francisco, dude, and I had nowhere to take a shit because California, everything is shut down. You can't use public restrooms. You can't, so you can't use actual restrooms, whatever the case is. But uh, yeah, I woke up one day and I started up my stream and I'm like, yo, I'm hunting for a toilet because I had to take a shit. <laughs> and Chad dropped the, the suggestion, take a shit at Nancy Pelosi's. And I was like, yo, I'll do that. But then Chad's like, yo, you're not even that far from our house. And I was like, oh, shit. I really didn't realize I was actually <laughs> close to her house. Uh, so I, I started walking like about two and a half miles to get to her house. And every time I had to take a shit, dude, I would clench like a motherfucker. And uh, so when I get to Nancy Pelosi's house, <laughs> dude, I had to literally like, I was so fucking paranoid because there was a camera facing right at me. Holy and shit. I'm like, holy shit. I look, check the street, make sure nobody was coming, saluted the chat, fucking popped the squat, and I left the two little workers boots. And uh, yeah, man, show was epic. Now, what? so what happened? First off. I was talking earlier in the show. Did nobody try to stop you from taking a shit on a driveway? Were there no security there? I mean, we're joking about it, but honestly, you, I don't know. I would expect somebody to come up and at least ask you a question. What are you up to, sir? Well, your ass hanging out and you're taking a shit. Like, what, what's going on at the speaker's house? I would think they would have better security protocols than this. Dropping off a couple of delegates. Uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> a couple caucus yeah. goers you had to drop off there. Yeah. Yeah, dude, tell me about it. I uh, I got to the house and I kind of questioned that I was like, because down the street from where that house was, there was a, a house with a way uh, nicer presence that would have given you the idea that, you know, it's it's Nancy Pelosi's. But no, it turned out to actually be that corner house. And there was really nobody. It was it was just an empty house, per se, I guess. I, I don't know. But there was no traffic in that area. We're also talking about a house that's pretty much uh, not to give away too much, basically, but. It's it's on a steep ass hill in San Francisco, like almost at the very top. So oh, it's I one of those streets where it's like way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know there's a lot of those yeah. streets in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's it's like at the very top of some of the tallest hills up there. So uh, how did you know where she yeah. lived, dude? Google Maps. Wow. Google Maps. Uh, it, there's uh, sorry, not Google Maps, but a Google article actually has um a big map and a Google map attached to the actual article. And if you zoom out with your fingers, it actually shows you the cross streets. Yeah. Wow. So that's how I found it. Wow. Who would have thought? By the way, there's a new sticker in the chat, and it's you taking a big shit uh, on Nancy yeah, Pelosi's driveway right there. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's taking over the chat. Now, um, what happened to you? Did they arrest you? Or like, what, what's been the, the fallout from this? Yeah, man. The fallout's been uh, – so the day actually – the day it happened – uh, I actually went live again because I got like so souped up. I got so excited about like, you know, everything getting like put all over the place. And I'm like, holy shit, this thing went far more viral than I expected to as fast as it did. And uh, so I made another stream. I'm like, I went viral. Hashtag Pelosi Pooper. And dude, I didn't realize like Capitol Police was watching my stream, dude. So I took the uh, BART. Yeah, dude, it fucking sucked, man. I took the BART to Oakland to go get some Mexican food. And, uh, dude, I literally get out of the train. I see a cop car just, like, make a slow turn, looks at me with, like, some hunting <laughs> eyes. And I'm like, fuck, I'm screwed, dude. Pulls over. He goes, hey, you, stop right there. Put your backpack down. Um, and then he kept trying to shut my stream off. But I told him, I was like, hey, man, don't shut my stream off for, you know, for for my protection and yours or whatnot. As this my First Amendment right. And, uh. Yeah, man, they kept insisting, but then at one point, like, when I realized that Capitol Police was actually watching the stream and on the radio, dude, you could hear them saying, like, the stream is still on, turn it off, or they would try and turn the camera <laughs> away from us. It was it was weird, dude. It felt like... They were going to send you to fucking Guantanamo. That's what they... They really want that on camera. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, honestly... Wait, wait, I, wait, I have a like question. Mondo, I have a question. What's up, man? Uh, did you wipe? Yeah, or I did, did you... man. How I did you wipe? I wanted to wipe. Yo, Andy, so I actually had one initial wipe, 
And uh, I looked at it and I was like, yo, that's a lot of shit, dog. I can't clean it with this one rag. Oh, so like, I kind of put it in the, <laughs> I put it in my other hand and I walked across the street. And when I walked out of the frame, I had toilet paper roll ready. I fucking took my knife. I cut my underwear when it was all fucking shit stained. <laughs> you were trying to, you were trying to, on my show the other night, we were trying to figure out if you wiped or not for like half yeah. an hour. Holy we doing, shit, dude. <laughs> did he dry walk away? Like, what, like itchy asshole the rest like of the Like clenching day? really tight so you can maybe not yeah. get shit all over. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, trust me. I definitely had swamp ass that day, man. That was <laughs> Uh, now, how many people? Why are you not on Fox News? That's what I want to know. Like, doesn't this seem obvious? I saw a lot of people spread the story around. Uh, Gateway pundit yeah. wrote about it. Of course, it's hilarious. So it's been all over the place. Even a couple. I got this lefty uh, blue check that follows me. Even she clicked like on it, and she's lefty. Nice. But you taking a shit in Pelosi's driveway made her chuckle enough to fucking hit a favorite on that story. Well, yeah. I feel. I feel like there are a lot of people like that who would like to become a, a, a folk hero. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. that type of level. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, if Fox was really about opposing the left, you figured they'd have your <laughs> yeah. story front and center. Like, But that's their controlled opposition because they're not encouraging people to shit on her driveway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is fucking fantastic. Wait, the folk hero? Toss a coin to your yeah. shitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know... Personally, one thing I want to say, like a lot of people said, like, man, you've really stooped down to the fucking left. Like, that's so despicable and disgusting. And I'm like, dude, sometimes you have to speak to the opponent in their own language in a, in a verbal tone that they'll understand. Hey, man. Seriously, look, that's what I think. I agree with you. And look, they've been winning, right? They've been like making making grounds. So maybe we need to start sh start shitting on things to make some ground in our direction. Yeah. Hey, I'm not I'm not endorsing or condoning anybody to take a shit, to be honest. What's because, right for well, you might not be right for everyone else. Right? Exactly. Everyone's good, you know, actually. Like, yeah. We yeah, should have like you know, a, a day where we all go outside and shit on the floor at the same time, you know? It, wait, make sure it's a legal The thing, silent legal majority. Place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's legal yeah, where you're at. Well, I'm actually not in California <laughs> right now, but yeah, it's legal in San Francisco to take a shit outside. Yeah, today I actually I was doing like an afternoon chill stream and people were saying it's legal. There's a yeah. a guy who made a human fecal matter map where when you see yeah. human shit, you could put it on the map. There's literally shit from the like from bottom to the top of side. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I did not know this was a thing. Yeah, it's a shit town. Disgusting, dude. It's disgusting because so Actually, one good thing about this whole thing uh, is I actually got reached out to. I have somebody that wants to manage me now, and uh, I'm, I'm really fucking honored. This guy has a great track record. Hey, dude, uh, listen, you guys are going to be proud of me. This guy has – He knows He knows 10 billionaires, and his name is SSJ. Super fucking great guy. He smokes like this. Super fucking great. Wow. Wait, he wants to uh, no. – so Oh, 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 you're blazing right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Aaron Shadows says, nah, I'm just joking. The anxiety retort. Black Phillips says, Ralph, what was your dinner tonight? Help us save you. Um, I actually haven't eaten dinner tonight. Um, I went out earlier today and ate it. I think it's Cal Casa del Barco, I believe, or Del Barca. I'm not sure. I forget the place here in Richmond. Um, and I had half a burrito. That's what I've had to eat today. I'm actually really hungry. I wish you hadn't mentioned that. <laughs> Clifford Z. Clavin says, drink all night, smoke all night. Wait, drink all day, smoke all night. How I swole. Yes, it's just good genetics there. Kyler SC says, smoke DMT with me, Andy. You'll meet the entity. I I, I will. I'll do it. I'll Clifford do it on C. screen. I, you know, my ex-girlfriend no, used to want to smoke DMT. I swear to God. She used to want to smoke it's, DMT. I heard it's scary. She wanted to do like she, high for ten minutes. But she crazy. wanted to do the uh, what is it? The high ushka or whatever? How do, I forgot how to say it. Oh, so, ushku! Oh my god, it's the Joe Rogan thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She wanted to do yeah. that. You have to go down to South America basically to do it right. And oh, then like, you're in a tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ayahuasca? yeah, that's it. Ayahuasca. That's, yeah, yeah, that's oh my it. Ayahuasca. God. She wanted to do yeah. that, and you you have to. I mean, to do it properly, you're supposed to go down to South America, and they like put you in the sweat thing or whatever right i think that's the one i'm not sure but yeah, yeah we should do that for a live stream we she all wanted, down there and she wanted to do it she had researched it and we just never did it we did ask it together though yeah uh but yeah we never yeah. did that uh, have you done yeah, you that you gotta go down to peru yeah yeah no, i never have yeah it was peru yeah you had to go to peru yeah 
Yeah. So you got to go to Peru and uh, you got to hire a shaman to properly make you ayahuasca right. and they have to pick up, they have to pick the plants themselves and then make you the tea and, yep. and kind of get you ready for that experience. But uh, yeah, ayahuasca is very tough and that's kind of why they do it, which would kind of be able to help you per se and guide you with, with their, uh, their right. rituals. Yeah, exactly. And that's yeah. exactly how she described it. And I was remembering it when you were saying it. I was like, yep, yep, yeah. yep. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, it's pretty heavy too, like you said, from what I've heard from her and others that uh, mm -hmm. they're there to kind of keep you calm too. Uh, that's yeah. wow. That's that's a heavy thing. But yeah, she wanted yeah. to do that forever. I don't think I've ever told that story publicly. Actually, uh, can't I can't if I could do yeah. it. Right that's that's terrible. That's terrifying. That we thought. talked about it a lot. But anyway. oh my god, yeah. Can't there's there's a lot of things associated with it. Like uh, people who go to do ayahuasca in South America. One of the things that happens that's very common is after they drink the tea, the body doesn't really react well in the stomach. So they start what's called purging and they just start projectile vomiting and just letting everything go. And that's kind of what some of the shamans or some people will refer to it as it's a cleansing and it's getting rid of all that bad. And then once you kind of sober up from that and you relax, then you start to kind of go into the trip and you start to really, you know, uh, go to wherever it may be in the universe per se. So you've looked into this too, clearly. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm one of those people that didn't really do shit in my childhood when like technology came out and I started watching a lot of YouTube videos and YouTube takes you everywhere, dude. So I just ended up researching all types of videos and uh, ayahuasca and psychedelics was something that I really did uh, enjoy watching. You know, uh, I come from a background of Cuban American. Well, I'm my parents are actually from Cuba and uh, my mom was a Santera, which is pretty much, uh, you know, some people call, you know, witchcraft, but it's a uh, Santeria, in other words. Santeria, so, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I was I wow. was around that growing up, so I've seen some stuff and visuals and how they do readings, and it's a very interesting thing, man. Yeah, I didn't expect that this would be <laughs> part of the conversation. You never <laughs> yeah, know what's going to happen on the kill stream, Morsky. Go ahead, yeah. Bro, bro, someone said that Larry muted himself so he could scream. <laughs> 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 Oh, God, that's probably true, actually. Uh, yeah. Cancer Shan says, Andy, actually, very unflattering thing he said about you. And then he said, Christ is king. Uh, karma is gay. He said, Kyler SC says, Christianity is for the goyim. Oh, God, you guys. <laughs> Cancer Shan says, did he take laxatives? Uh, Matt Warrior says, Andy, you started it by being sarcastic. Oh, we all love each other in the kill stream. We love each other in the kill stream. We all love each other. We love each other. Dick Ritchie joking. says, was he charged with – oh, what was he charged with? Does he expect jail time? You talked about that a little bit, but nothing's going to happen to you basically, right? Yeah. I hope not. You know, uh, so talking about that experience when I actually got stopped, because that's actually I think something that I, I cut off on. Um, when I got stopped, whatever, the stream ended up being turned off and Capitol Police, the, the person who char pulled me over, um, he actually was on the phone with Capitol Police and he says, are there any questions you want me to ask him or whatnot? And then he hung up, came back to me, turned his body cam back on. And then as he was asking me questions, he was like, first of all, how did you get Nancy Pelosi's address? Do you have <laughs> yeah. any intent of harming anybody? Uh, you mentioned Kamala Harris because on stream I was like, yo, if Kamala Harris lived in San Francisco, I'd shit on her house too, you know, but something people have to understand, like I came from an IRL scene where a lot of it was parody and, uh, you know, just a lot of sarcasm and fucking around, you know, which I believe maybe some people are familiar with, which is Ice Poseidon and the whole CX. Yes, network. I did. So it was a lot of satire. It was a lot of joking. Yeah, we yeah. covered, so we covered a lot of people that. People don't get that. Yeah. We covered a lot of that. By the way, what's funny is he sent me his message with CX, and then he sent me some other stuff. I thought he'd diss me out because fucking I talked to Baked Alaska, actually. He's like, you should get this guy on. Another person I know, uh, Peyton, uh, said she used to do podcasts with you, so she said she knew you too. So I had a couple people tell yeah. me to get you on. And so I got your Twitter, cool. and I sent him a message, and I, was, I didn't hear. I thought I hadn't heard back. I was like, oh, I guess, you know, maybe he doesn't want to come on. And then he sent me another message tonight, and there were two other ones from Tuesday that I hadn't seen. I was like, oh, my God, what the fuck? Uh, so I kind of blew that, so I want to apologize for that publicly. Uh, the DMs no, get a little no. hectic sometimes, but I'm, no. I'm super glad hey, we got you on tonight. I have to ask Mondo some questions. Yeah. Sure, I have to go ahead. I've, seen, cl I've yeah. seen clips. We've been watching. We may have been donating some stuff to make you guys angry at each other. <laughs> 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 we were the ones, me, me and Kyler were the ones when you guys were at Wendy's uh, in the, the afternoon. 
he put the rape rape song and then those two people yelled and then you and oh, Bates, yeah. you got in a fight and then he leaves you at wendy's and we're like did we just break a friendship up on stream <laughs> <laughs> it's just so fun right uh, it feels like an yeah. interactive game only watching you but i want to ask you uh there's been a lot the last two days with you and big a lot of ups and downs where it seems like Bates will do something and you get so mad and then you sit there scowling for like an hour and then everyone's yelling at you. What What is going on? Like, what is, like, are you actually mad at these moments when he has N-word songs playing in front of a police officer and you're going, turn that off and he won't do it? What do you think? Well, you the, the one with the, uh, with the police officer, I actually never told him to turn it off. I was actually holding the camera and I saw it pop up on stream. And I actually kind of snickered to myself and I just stayed quiet and let it play because I knew it was content. You know, the day of the Wendy's. <laughs> content is yeah. content. Yeah, yeah look, I'm, I want to explain something on this regard, man. You have to understand, like, this is why I felt the way I was. After I got pulled over by Capitol Police and, well, referred to pulled over by Capitol Police by the Oakland P uh, BART, you have to understand, man. They asked me if I was Antifa. They asked me a whole bunch of shit. They said they were going to follow up. So for like the last few days, my mind was in like this really major state of paranoia, like wondering about my future. Did I really just put myself behind bars for taking a shit on Nancy Pelosi's car? <laughs> Am I ready for this? Yeah, dude, like for real. Am I ready for this? Do I have the funds to like, you know, work around this if something happens to me? Uh, if the world finds out about this, am I going to be like deemed like... A fucking domestic terrorist, terrorist yeah, like exactly. maybe Powell no House, yeah. you know. So it's 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 a fucking scary thing because in the current state of like politics or just politics in general, like when that moment happened to me that they even referred to Kamala Harris, I felt like I was in a communist country, dude. I really fucking felt like I was in a communist country per se because like I really got pulled over by doing for doing something that's perfectly legal where I'm at. And I was being fucking like sniped. They wanted all my information, want to know my affiliations, um, who I was. They asked me if I had tattoos. They fucking yanked my shirt, my sleeve what? up, and then they fucking really? started checking my arm. Yeah, so it's like, dude, what, what dude. the fuck is this? Am I being like tagged? Like, it, it's yo, have worrisome. you thought of this you know? though? So that's why I felt that way. Yo, yo, have you thought of this? Because someone in chat said it almost like facetiously, but it's actually true. Someone's like, you should have said you were Antifa and the DA would have let you off. Why don't you go, <laughs> oh, I'm Black Lives Matter. And they're like, oh, shit. It's I'm like, protesting like, Nancy Pelosi's racism and she's a fake, yeah. you, know, yeah, you know, she needs probably... to really represent under, you know, underprivileged more. And, you know, yeah. she's a phony. She's a corporate puppet. Yeah. She doesn't care about black people. Yeah. Did you ever think about that? Yeah, yeah, I'm trans. I'm trans. Yeah, I'm trans. Yeah. She hates trans people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just say every fucking code in the book to just be like, okay, this is a major lawsuit if we fuck with this guy. Let's do him alone. <laughs> Um, That's what I mean. Shit, maybe Black Lives Matter would chant for me, you know, yeah. if I fucking got arrested for being a, a trans Korean male, you know, being arrested for defecating. Oh, but um, shit. no, you Literally. know, to be sincere, sincere with you, my parents are like, as, as I mentioned before, they're Cuban. I would never fucking side with Antifa. I would never side with the fucking far left at all whatsoever. If anything, I stand on more of a republic and, and defend what we have and what we should have, per se. Um, I, I can't see America go communist, dude, or go as far left as they want because I've been to Cuba and I've seen like a lot of the propaganda that I see in Cuba when I went to visit is a lot of the shit that you see here that people are chanting, right? So in Cuba, they have murals, bro. They have a mural on a fucking hill in Santa Clara. If you look at up, Santa Clara, Cuba, okay, there's a fucking big mural made out of fucking flowers on a hilltop. That's the face of Ernesto Che Guevara, which is a fucking... Uh, a murderer, bro. Fucking killed many people, Huge and so scumbag. many people on the left fucking praise this guy. So it's like mm. the ideologies and the people that they they want to promote and be like, wow, this person was so fucking great to society, and they did so much. Let's chant their name. And it's like, why? Like, why the fuck are you idolizing somebody that you have no actual uh, realization of their history and what they've done instead of you know doing what's better? But I would I would never stand with Antifa, bro. I would never claim that shit. Not some not fucking ever, bro. Period. Well, that's a very good answer. Uh, all right, let's take some let's take some calls. Can we do that? Um, let's see. If I'm you want to if you want to call in and talk to the guy who took a huge shit, uh, Sam and Andy here uh, on Pelosi's <laughs> driveway. Go ahead, yeah, and call in. Sam and Andy. 
Wait, is that your name? Well, that's yeah. what they know. Um, no, yeah, you know how the IRL give, people give have all your all whatever Andy? No, there's like Sam, 15 Sam different and, and like the yeah. like the fish Andy? Like yeah. Sam well, What? what? Yeah. The, the Asian Andy, Andy awesome. Arab Andy. <laughs> there's Mexican uh, Andy, too. Yeah. I forgot Mexican him. Mexican Andy, yeah. 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 Sam and this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, ski mask I, I, Andy. Who, who's ski mask I, I, Andy? That's a terrifying name. <laughs> ski mask Andy. Does he rape? <laughs> there were a few. Now, <laughs> by the way, that's one of the names I know. Ski mask Andy's fucking weird. Now, tell people first off. Let me do this right now while we have still a lot of people here watching you. Tell people where they can find you and your online names and promote your shit and stuff like that too. Yeah, I appreciate that. My name uh, is. Armando, obviously, my Mono. YouTube channel is Life's Maverick, yeah. M-A-V-R-E-K. Uh, my Twitter handle is OG Pelosi Pooper. And if you guys want to check out like some <laughs> okay, photography yeah. from my travels, <laughs> it's uh, A Nomads Vibe. So A-N-O-M-A-D-S-V-I-B-E. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to No, that's good. That's cool. good. I just want to OG just Pelosi. I just want to make sure. I, so sorry about calling you Sam and Andy, by the way. That's just one of the monikers they used to call you. So, it's all good, man. I'm all not right. worried. I'm I get not mixed up. And bake that that's a cool name. Yeah, <laughs> all of them are cool. And it's even cooler that you took a shit in Pelosi driveway. So, all right, let's take another caller. Yeah. Uh, Dark Butters, go ahead. Dark Butters, Dark Butters. Hello, hello. I was hey, 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 whoa, Gammy. Yep. Yo, what up? Yes, we can. Uh, I, it, it lagged there. Sorry about yeah, that, Ralph. Okay. Um, yeah, it's okay. Congratulations, obviously. Um, yeah. Andy was fun hanging out today, but yeah, uh, man, to our guest great. today, yeah, to our guest today, I, I just want to say that what you did was fucking inspiring, and like this is this is the modern counterculture is taking a shit on Nancy Pelosi's lawn. So I I thank you for your service, and that's all, Ralph. You can fucking sunset me. All right. Well, thank you so much. By the way. One step too far is trying to get me to play something on the show, but I can't play DM shit on the show. I've tried to tell people this before. So if you want me to play that, you should probably upload it to, I don't know, one of these sites. What is streamable, I guess, or one of those? It doesn't really DM? matter. DM? What's that? So he sent me a video to like play video. in the DMs. Oh. Though I'm not pulling, obviously, I'm not pulling my DMs up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so send it. I send it through like uh, one of those. You upload a video and then it's yeah, like yeah. a bit link or whatever. Yeah, like the other, yeah, yeah. Streamable, what's yeah, the yeah. other one we used to use too? I don't know. There's two or three of them. You can use any of them. Uh, let's see. Catbox.moe or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was there's, one. There's quite a few. Um, let's see. Wolf Wolf and Redacted says funny considering San Fran actually has a shit map. Yeah, oh, man. it's true. A shit map. I wasn't aware of yeah. that. Yeah, here, here. I'll link. How it does to that you. work? Yeah. Uh, They're no, Ralph. I have it. I have it. Are you serious? Earlier. Yeah, I have yeah. it. I have it from earlier. Hang on one sec. How, what I'll is that for? You. So you can just avoid the yeah, you know, the shitty mean, trails the or like what is that? That's pretty bizarre. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, uh, <laughs> this is true. This is the real thing. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Yeah. Uh, so the thing regarding that is, uh, so it's a fifty to a five hundred dollar fine, but if you look at the penal code on the very bottom states if you have a medical condition or a medical uh, related incident per se uh it's actually legal like you can actually take a shit and the funny part was when i was hyping it up on stream and i had just bought the toilet paper a fire truck rolls down the hill and i go excuse me is it legal to defecate outside in san francisco and they kind of laughed at it and then the fire the fire truck driver he goes yeah you can take a shit in san francisco it's legal <laughs> So when I got that, <laughs> I was like, yo, that is my fucking, like, that's my key right there. Oh, yeah. If a cop yeah, you over, it. I yeah. sent it to you, Ralph. Now with and, the uh, fire said. Okay, I'll pull it up. Go ahead. Go ahead, uh, yeah. go ahead Mondo. Right. No, go ahead, Mondo. Speak no, over me. Yeah, that was pretty much it. Okay, I was just making sure. Yeah, no, feel free. <laughs> feel free to speak. No, no apologies needed. They speak over me all the time. So wait, like, clearly wait, they don't respect it... me either. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, wait, isn't it? Okay, how about this? So Mondo, I want to ask you this. So it's legal to shit on the floor, but isn't it illegal to expose yourself? So wouldn't that be considered like exposing yourself? Or how does that work? Not, I mean, I didn't expose any genitalia or anything like that. I just kept everything covered and like I, I think the reason I had so much at, like so, so much shit smeared in my ass is because I didn't pull my pants for it on enough, so it kind of like, forced it through. But, I, <laughs> the visuals. That's yeah, so but funny, uh, yeah, no, honestly, you know, it was uh, IBS. I didn't expose anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is the true oh, IBS. All right. The real IBS. Yeah. 
<laughs> all the that's funny, Mondo. We that, were prepared that's really for funny, this dude. moment. This is what I just prepared us for. By the way, Dick Masterson, do you know who Dick Masterson is? Who, me? Yeah. I don't actually. Oh, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, you not heard his, you heard his the ego D-Lock there. Community. Oh, man. He hosts a podcast called The Dick Show. He wanted me to ask you to come on his show on Sunday. So I'm asking you now I live. Know, man. All right, good. We'll get you on there. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm down. I'm down to kind of like get the word out because, dude, who knows? If I go to jail for this shit, I kind of want people just to remember me for the humor and for the for the lols, you know, like for the memes <laughs> and the fucking shit posting. I can't so always I, honor your memory. You, By the way, Dick, so, call into the show at this point if you're listening. Go ahead, go ahead, Worski. Yeah, you know, I'm I just saying. I, I, I'm just picturing Mondo. I hope you don't get arrested, but if you are. I just picture everyone like outside, you know, they're working out. Everyone's chilling. It was like, hey, what are you in for? Uh, I killed him, man. What are you in for? <laughs> I shit in front of Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, he's with us now. He's part of our gang. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, Everybody starts wanting to recruit me. You know, you got the fucking <laughs> yeah. the Aryans over here. Like, hey, white man, you want to join with us? Be like, sure, yeah. I'm Cuban. Yeah. The Mexicans come yeah. over like, hey, what's up, fool? You want to get down with the cake, homie? I'm <laughs> like, nah, bro, I'm not. Mexican, I'm Cuban. The black <laughs> club. Wait, hey, what's up, my nigga? Drum? You want to be with the king? You're like, nah, chill, bro. I'm not black. I'm Cuban. Wait, wait, wait instead of a teardrop tattoo, he's got a boom, it's a like, shit emoji. <laughs> I got Mr. Hanky tatted on me. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Ooh. Oh, yeah, a, a box of Dolcalax just tattooed on your shoulder. All right, let's see. By the way, uh, this is the shit map. And it looks, it does look yeah. very shitty in certain areas <laughs> yeah, of San Francisco. I have to say it's black with shit, actually, not even just brown. Yeah. Uh, the whole it's city bad, is man. just a pile of shit, you're saying, Ralph. Uh, yeah. Basically, yeah. If you look at that map, it's just covered in, in feces, wow. it appears to be, I have to say. Um, that's not <laughs> good. By the way, can you pull up this link? Uh, Mondo, let me put this in the uh, chat here. He wanted me to play this. It better be good because I completely diverted everything to play this one step too far. And you uh, will have our chat. Hold on. You truly will have went one step too far if this is not funny. Actually, I think I know this clip. But oh my god, one step too far is usually not good. another teen movie. All right, yeah, it's in the that's Chris Evans and uh, Shannon Elizabeth. Wow, my knowledge yeah, off the cool. chart. Wow, young. Not yeah. another teen movie, bro. Yeah, yeah this classic. is this is old school shit. This is classic. It's been so long since I've seen this. You guys ready? I'm gonna hit play on this. Can you hit play on links and stuff, Mondo? Yeah, I'm watching it. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and hit play on this right now. Can I ask you a question? Why is it every time I tell a guy they can put it wherever they want, they always oh, stick it in my ass? Oh, damn. That's just way too much information for me, Catherine. Oh, no, Jake. Way too much information would be telling you that after they're done, I always take a huge dump. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> on their chest. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but for once, I wish a guy would take a dump on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Paul uh, Dano that or whatever, is isn't it? Paul. No, I don't think Who so. is that? It really upsets me. No, it's not. It looks like Paul Dano, but it's not. It's not him, though. Nobody's ever taken a dump on your chest. Oh, that is whack. <laughs> All right, there we go. There, there's the clip. And that wasn't Shannon Elizabeth. I know that for a fact. I don't know why I said Shannon Elizabeth. I embarrassed myself there. All right, let's take a few more callers. We'll get Mondo out of here. Uh, let's see. Aaron Strasser, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. Uh, hey, how's it going, Ralph? It's going very good. How you doing? I got to say, what I put on Twitter today, I did not expect the first tweet I saw on my feed to see guy who shat in Nancy Pelosi's <laughs> I put that shit in all caps, too, blaring <laughs> yeah. it out. That's what made it funnier. Yeah, yeah. I put it in all caps, like breaking news alert on yeah. Drudge and shit. Yeah, that's how I put it. If I could have did the red wild, underline, like... I would have done that shit, too. But, yeah. Yeah. I also, I also captioned, I'm like, roses are red, life is Guy who shot on Nancy Pelosi. Wait, 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 wait. stop, 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 stop! Oh. It cut you. Wait, 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 wait! It cut you off during part of that, so we won't get the punchline. Oh. Repeat it. Repeat it. My apologies. I said I quit a caption. I'm like, roses are red. Life is a dream. Guy who shot on Nancy Pelosi's lawn is now live. On- <laughs> 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 this is a fever dream, right? Like nice. They say that life is yeah. but a dream. Oh, sorry. Mm. All right, what is? Um, that that was basically all I wanted to say. Uh, all right, this is very, very entertaining to watch. You can move on to the next caller now. Have Thank day, you, Ralph. man. I appreciate that. 
Thank you so much Cheers. for calling in and supporting the show. Why do I not see that on Twitter? They must have hit hidden that tweet or something. Cause oh wait, is it a it quote tweet? It was... Oh wait, wait. Oh, roses are red. Life is a dream. The guy who shit in Pelosi's driveway is live now on the kill stream. So he, my part is actually the punchline, the quote tweet. Okay, that's pretty. That's top notch. That's top notch work there. I have to say that is wow. a good one. I'd already retweeted him once, uh, but I'll do it again because I like that. All right, let's see here. Uh, Finn Heel says, hashtag poop, Crusaders assemble. Let's do-do this. Brazilian ha <laughs> says, you can buy the uh, Ayahuasca, I-, I can never say it, ingredients online. Oh, don't tell people that. I don't know if that's true. I just about Chill I stream. Do that. I wouldn't either. Shout to Chill Stream. Chill Stream Uncut, all one word over on YouTube. They do uh, mirrors of our show and other shows. Uh, says, did you find out who linked the? Uh, l- excuse me. Did you find who leaked the O Jenny clip? I'm not familiar with the lore on that. Yeah, that's that's a whole different topic. Okay, if you don't want to get into it, that's fine. I literally yeah. don't know anything about it, so I'm nah, not sure. That's good, dude. That's fine. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. <laughs> oh yeah. Jenny. Yeah, I know nothing about that. <laughs> um, oh yeah, there yeah. was somebody doing the. Was that what that was about? Life in hell. <laughs> Wait, life in hell. <laughs> life in hell on on entrevystream.live slash the Ralph Retort says Jenny. Oh Jenny. Uh, oh Jenny. Jenny. Yeah, so I'll take Great I'll take Bo, Alabama. Oh sorry. Yeah, so um I, I kind of met this girl, like she was in my in my chat or whatever, and we kind of like started chatting and shit. And uh we kind of had like an online thing going. We swapped some videos, and one of my videos got leaked in Discord. And then it got posted on Pornhub. And, oh, we don't yeah, need. Dude. Say no more. Say no more. Say no more. All right. Uh, say no more whatsoever. Wolfen redacted. Life is life, dog. Yeah, Extremely well, life, you, know? you, you think it's a small world till you hear a story. Or you think it's a big yeah. world till you hear a story like that. Yeah. Oh. Anyway. Streamers, right? That's that streaming life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wolfen redacted. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, Super Chatting fuckers. We're brothers, dude. Uh, We're they brothers. knew I didn't know about that story, too, motherfuckers. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Larry oh, Seeding to someone in chat. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's fucked because in one single week, the whole internet saw projectile products come out of both sides of my body. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's Holy shit. Oh, this kill stream just entered the classic <laughs> territory, I'm afraid. All right. Wolf oh, Redacted man. says morality didn't exist before the Bible calling BS. They're still mad at you about that, Worski. Kyler SC <laughs> says roses are. We all Good. convert him. That's what you need to do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't be mean to him. That's not going to convert him. What the fuck? Being mean. Is not yeah, gonna he's on the edge already. You can tell. I went from atheist to agnostic. Come yeah, on. Yeah, he's already Give shifted. Yeah. Yeah, come on, guys. Kyler C says, Roses are red. Life is a dream. Pussy cream. Okay. I like that one, too. I have to say. <laughs> Joe King Jr. says, Well done, friend. Thank you very kindly. For I don't know if you're talking to me. Wow. Yes, very big Ninja Gini. I don't know if he's talking to me or him. I'm going to assume both of us, though. Two legends here talking to each other. Critical in the <laughs> Entropy stream says currently on. By the way, this is a question for Mark Lobliner, and he's going to be back on the show soon. He seemed hyped to come back on and talk fitness, didn't he? Um, so we'll probably get him back on here in a couple weeks. He said he was down, so I can't really answer your question, Critical. Uh, but I appreciate you for the super chat. Uh, oh wait, I'll read it. I don't. She says currently on. Yeah, 100, yeah, read it. Yeah, I'll read it. Currently on 175 milligrams, two times per week. 180 pounds, 15 percent body fat, 15 percent ish body fat. Do six to eight supersets of two to three exercises. Back into weightlifting after two years, but kept muscle from cycling. Aim to build, but want to reduce fat. Focus. Um, yeah, and again, call back in. I'll put you on. Just call in, and I'll put you on with Mark next time. We'll make it more. The first part of that was mostly politics, but this time we'll be more focused on on fitness. Uh, Life in Hell, yeah. I read that. And then he sent another one. Uh, the silent but deadly majority is li- loud, or louder than right. ever. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's take a few more calls. Oh, Dingo. All right. Well, actually, Dingo, they're going to get mad. I'll bring you in next. Go ahead, Pepto-Bismol. Real quick. Yeah, wait, what? All right, we'll bring you back. We'll bring, um, you, back. We'll bring yeah. you back. We'll bring I'm you back. We'll bring you back. Oh, wow. It started oh, he's good. he's good. What the fuck, Gator? How's that fair? Oh, my God. Go ahead, Pepto. Um, well, were, were you by any chance on um a stream with Baked Alaska like two days ago? 
Not yeah. me. Who, You're me? talking to Mondo. Uh, yeah, I think he was. Yes, yes, yes. Of course, the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Mondo was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, didn't like I only watched for like maybe five minutes, but didn't it go from like fuck yeah, let's all move to Texas to the point where you were about to jump out of a car because Bates Alaska gave you sass? About what? Yeah. Well, I uh, think Mondo. About, I, I think, think it was he's asking you why I asked you. About, yeah. Oh, it was about the Wendy's no, thing. Uh, or whatever? It was like, no, they uh, they were like having a discussion about like oh Texas for some reason all the streamers are moving from Texas and then they were like yeah let's go to Texas let's go to Texas and then you two got into a fight about well who's I think he's hanging out with Bates right now right like so I don't think they're fighting is that not true like I don't know like I don't think you guys are unless you I, I are I think you take the sh- I think you take the stream a little too serious and don't realize content <laughs> is content yeah I think I think oh, that okay, it's just content that's what it is it's just it's just milking the content because that was the most obnoxious fucking shit I've ever seen right, I'm glad you like, feel that way don't go wipe your like ass <laughs> <laughs> all right Pepto thank, I mean, you, thank you Pepto okay, okay, yeah. the discord just crashed yeah it did we'll bring you we'll bring you back Pepto Pepto just go uh Patuna oh. go ahead fuck Auburn you're on the kill stream <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was kind of aggressive uh, there, huh? Yeah, you won't catch me slipping again. Go ahead. You did that a few times, but never again. You I know, bur- I know. You, you, burned, it, you burned it in my memory. By the way, SEC, baby, next weekend. Right. Woo! It's time, baby. Woo! Get ready. All right, anyway, sorry. I'll stop. I got a question for our esteemed guests here. Um, do you hire out your services, sir? <laughs> uh, for the right price, maybe. <laughs> Can I? you to take a monster shit Nick Saban lawn. <laughs> and who's? Nick Saban, Nick Saban the Saban. Alabama Saban. head football coach. Yeah. He probably has more security. I don't think you'll uh, get away with it there, though, yeah. You might get yeah, I think I'm good. Yeah. I think I wouldn't want to talk about that and agree on something on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Petunia. You got anything else? Uh, War Eagle, baby. Oh, War Eagle. Get out of here. SEC starting on the 28th. I am ready for that too, though. I think it's the 20. It's the Saturday after this coming one, basically. Oh, it's about time. It's about time, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Southern Ego, go ahead, sir. You're on the kill stream once again, but you're muted, so we can't hear you while you're muted. That's one of those things. Yeah, what's up, man? Dingo. Hey there, pal. Holy shit! Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, man. Go ahead. You sound okay, good. Sorry, go ahead. I just saw a big, huge fucking mosquito. Um, no, you're good. Larry, what's up, big guy? Larry. 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 Pa- hello. hello. Oh, I was sorry. Say, Larry's just, about to sleep over there. What's going no, on? No, no, no. I, I just have to wait to go use the restroom. What's going on, man? How you doing? Dude, I'm doing. I'm doing. You know? Yeah. I, I yeah. think you're like, I think you're this close. I'm holding my fingers up like really, really close together. <laughs> this close to converting Andy. So, <laughs> we're going to get him, Larry. <laughs> we're going to get him. <laughs> I'll punch your stream. No, but... That could be the conversions for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We we have the, the super chats flowing while he's getting baptized or some shit like that. There's, there's ways that we can do this. <laughs> IRL streaming it with DuckTales playing as I'm getting. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Anyway, yeah, sorry. Go yeah. ahead. Press one to uh press one to wash away sin. <laughs> 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 Press two for eternal damnation. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, man. Uh, go Hell ahead yeah. Tinga. I had a question for the guest. Uh, <laughs> is it is it odd to be on the stream? Like, on one hand, you are known, like, in at this stream anyways, because you, you exposed your ass and you took a shit in, like, a public place, right? Which is kind of wacky. And then, like, you're also giving, like, political advice and musing about communism and democracy is it like kind of weird to, to do the same, those two at the same time uh not really i find it pretty simple <laughs> <laughs> Seem pretty chill, but, uh... oh god dude yeah well i i thought that was pretty funny though like <laughs> i mean think about the, just think about the madness of that like uh oh you hear somebody giving these political talking points and somebody listening somebody just tuned in it's like oh who's this guy <laughs> somebody in the chat's like that's the guy that took a big, huge shit on Nancy Pelosi's driveway. I mean, like, honestly, <laughs> Diggo, when you think about it, his contributions are much more massive than, uh, you know, a lot of people we've had on this show, to be real with you. I mean, he came in and took a big shit right on Pel- – that's real IRL activism right there. Taking it, taking it to the streets where the yeah. rubber meets I mean, the road that's... well, or whatever oh, meets yeah. the road. Bro, bro, I have to do – yo, yo, Mondo, I have to meet up with you. 
and we'll do a stream together and I'll go aim aim and then you shit on things I'm <laughs> we will defend ourselves yeah well you know like he'll yeah. be like we will not poop ourselves we will not poop <laughs> <Yeah>. ourselves <laughs> no, i mean hey look honestly when you think about it isn't america the land of the free and sometimes you've had people that have done some obscure shit to kind of make a point no pun intended um you know you could call me a homeless activist and i'm kind of bringing awareness to what it's really like out there some of these people who are rich who live in these really nice neighborhoods don't have to worry about that because they hop in their lame ass Tesla and they fucking drive down to wherever the fuck they work or whatever they do. So if you bring if you bring it to them and show them like there really is people shitting on the streets, maybe it, it actually <clears throat> makes them want to change their mind on the way that certain things are. Look, in the last couple Hell of yeah. days after I took a shit at Pelosi's house, now she's talking about making a difference for the stimulus package and finding a solution to it. <laughs> now, now she's talking about fucking prosecuting peaceful protesters who are referred to as looters, rioters, and people who are burning shit. So in my opinion, I think I fucking just made a big difference and I just fucking really put yeah. the fucking fire under her ass. It's like one small, one small step for Mondo, one giant shit for all of mankind, right? <laughs> no, shit one small shit for I mean, Mondo... I one giant step for the republic. <laughs> well, I would, I would say that this is once again just this is just another case of of Latinos doing the jobs that white people won't do. Like, <laughs> that's exactly it, man. You got it. You got it. Damn. All right, you know what? Right, you, know you, what? Said, you know what? Hail Jesus. You know what? Call her the night. I have to begrudgingly give it to yeah. Diego on that. Diego, really, 10 out of 10. I'm tears right begrudgingly, now. Begrudgingly, so I yeah. have to give him the award. That's why he's a gold star caller, ladies and gentlemen. All right. <laughs> Let's oh, take man. another one. One step too far. You're on the kill stream. Oh, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. How am I supposed to follow that? You can't. Up? You really can't. Christ, you really dude. can't. I almost just ended the you show right there because the it's wow. all it's all downhill from there, ladies and gentlemen. Mike drops. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I do have one question, though, for Scatman Pelosi. I, I need to know. Are you a <laughs> chocolate chip cookie Scat dough man. guy or a soft serve guy? <laughs> oh. Are you more of a soft serve guy? Chocolate chip cookie dough or soft serve? Which one are you Man, there for? I think for what I need to produce for something like that, it has to be chocolate chip cookie dough. Yeah, you have to save it up, right? Then it's not gonna work. Otherwise. Yeah, you have to. If, yeah, you, if you do it, like, it just softens up. You, you yeah. listen to Mark. You were getting a lot of fiber in your diet, so you could shit <laughs> a fat brick. Dude, I'm surprised I even had as much of a big shit because, to be honest, the only thing I had was gas station burritos. Oh. Uh, Taco Bell and some KFC. <laughs> oh, God. That must have been the most, like, well, the interesting part. Is you're, like, uh, you're like Laura Loomer if she actually shit and got off the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. Once she shit off the pot, you mean. <laughs> Once it's that, funny because I kept mentioning you, Laura Loomer on my stream. I kept, like, I actually walked up to yeah, some yeah, lady and I was like, man, can you off. say her name? I go, say her name for a woman who is being persecuted for injustices. And then, like, I just fucking started trolling her, and she was like, I go, say Laura Loomer's name. Say her name. <laughs> and, like, this lady goes, Laura Loomer. And I was fucking dying, dude. You know, it was it was, uh, it's, it was an epic buildup to taking that shit. And then once I took the shit, I was like, oh, this is real. I got on a lift bike. I started roaming all around fucking San Francisco screaming. I just took a shit on Nancy Pelosi's lawn. I said there's a fucking war on being white and Republican in America. There's nothing wrong with it. I said that if you were fucking white, that it didn't, you shouldn't be scared to be white. Like, I was saying a whole bunch of shit in San Francisco, one of the gayest cities, one of the fucking, like, most progressive cities in America. So for a fat Hispanic guy to be riding a Lyft electric bike with a fucking hiking backpack with a stream looking like a dumbass and then screaming all this shit, like, I think it was just a fucking great entertaining day personally, man, to myself. I even met a biker dude that was like fucking honored and even gave me a twenty dollar dono and a fucking a nug of, tr of weed. <laughs> wow, he broke out the nugs too. But, uh, yeah, congratulations. I have to say, have to say my favorite Wish. moment, favorite moment on one of your streams. I can't remember. There's been too many funny moments, but you guys, I think you were in, in Arizona now, right? So you, you had left California with baked. And you're walking down the street and there's a bunch of cops. Baked walks up to the cops and goes, this guy just shit on Nancy Pelosi's driveway. Oh, yeah. And you're like, dude, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> 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 mouth, man. He's like, who gives a fuck? 
He's shit. He's <laughs> pointing at everyone. He's walking by. He's going, this guy shit on someone's driveway. And everyone's like, oh, cool. And yeah. Like, Shut the fuck up, mate. <laughs> uh, oh, dude, I was paranoid, bro. You have no idea. Like, like, dude, even now when I upload shit to Twitter, it takes so fucking long. Like, I look at the little blue bar and it takes fucking life and a half. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's the FBI or the NSA has somebody literally watching that upload second for second then approving it. I'm like, dude, tweets of mine aren't getting out. Like, lately, I've been tweeting shit, and it doesn't get out to nobody. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, like, I might yeah, be, like, Yeah, they, they definitely put you under. There's, like, um, there's something where, you know, once you're it's too an much for Twitter, yeah, it's like AI that lowers your yeah. views and sending it out. Yeah. They definitely yeah. do. A Dread Clown... Yeah. A Dread Clown, yeah, basically it's a shadow bound. Dread Clown over on Stream Elements. He had a question for a Mark Lobloner. Uh please email me and I'll I can ask it to him personally, or I can just ask it to him next time he's on. Cause I did miss your one right before this. And then he had another one over on killstream.live slash tip, which is stream elements. Um he said silent but deadly majority. Uh we got that one in again. Uh let's see. Big Ten bitch. That's what Joe King Jr. says. Well, I mean, I just point to the all the national titles up there on the board. Uh, for the SEC, let Dingo go off. Joe King Jr. says I did, and it worked. Southern Cowboy fourteen says Alabama hot pocket shit in girls' pussy and fuck it. That's disgusting. That's... That is fucking weird. Ugh. I'll do it though. I'll try it. Try it if you want it. Chatter bait. Uh, don't knock hey, it until you try it. I mean, yeah. Space Cowboy fourteen says, dude, he needs to shit in all top Democrats' lawns. Uh, let's see. One step too far says not congratulatory nugs, scatulatory nugs. There we go. Go ahead. Uh, thank you for coming on the kill stream. I have to do this Rogan segment real quick. If you have any thoughts on that real quick before I send you off, you can give a thought on Joe Rogan and Spotify too. Uh, actually, I'm not too aware of what's going on currently at the moment with Joe Rogan and Spotify. Very good. That's very. That's a very good stance. Maybe we'll have you on yeah. the show. I don't know. I'm not yeah, really sure. I'm not really sure what's going on with Joe Rogan. I just know I love and respect that man and uh, wish him yeah. the best. Uh, that's maybe that's what I should do. <laughs> to close yeah, out the Rogan show. wants help booking you. He I, should contact us. You sure. know. I just know he's we'll, one of my we'll heroes. Yeah, and I, you know, I watch every second of his show. Yeah, go ahead. Dude, actually. Uh, I actually want to say, dude, I appreciate you giving me the chance to actually come on here and, like, you know, shoot the shits with you guys and talk about it. It was because, awesome. Uh, You're great on the show, yeah. Yeah. Shoot the I appreciate shit. it. I was actually supposed to be with uh, with Alex Jones in InfoWars because Rex was going to line me up with the interview. And uh, I fucked up because that was the day that was the protest that we were out here in Arizona, me and Baked. And I lost uh. my time slot because I didn't realize the time difference. So I appreciate you giving me the chance, dude. Like, uh, this is oh, actually man. pretty cool. And, like, you know. Yeah, dude, thank you so I much. We it. had Rex Jones on this show a couple weeks ago, him and Harrison Smith, so maybe it's I can funny. like try to get you back on InfoWars because I would think they would still want to have you on. Alex will love yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, he especially especially that. after they've seen this appearance, I would think they would still want you on their show, so I'll message 100%. Harrison. Yeah. I don't know, can't guarantee anything, but I would think so, so I'll definitely follow up on that yeah. for you, man. Thank you so much, and I'm sorry yeah, that it took me that. a couple days to get back to you. And please come back, for real, seriously. Thank you, yeah. man. Thank you so much. No, I'm down, man. I'm, I'm definitely down, and uh, I appreciate it. You know, I want to give a shout-out to everybody that's watching. Everybody has been on with us right now. And, uh, yeah, you know, before I go, I just want to say, uh, Alex Jones, if it wasn't for him, dude, America or the world's most banned man, per se, on the Internet, you know, he's he's the one that actually woke me up, dude, because uh, after 9-11, I was actually living in Jersey, and 9-11, I remember that day perfectly. And I saw smoke for fucking hours fucking going over my house, dude, and I fucking freaked out. And then that's when I started watching a lot of InfoWars and a lot of Alex Jones. So if it wouldn't have been for him, dude, I would have never learned as much as I have. I would have, I would have never learned to read between the lines. So um, it's, it's kind of cool, like, being a part of this whole community and just being on this side of the world. But, yeah, man, quick, good, big shout-out to you guys. I wish you guys very much well and uh, much love. Thank you so much, man. Awesome guest, Mondo. Mondo's a cool guy. Mondo's a cool guy. Like We're going to have you back, I'm guaranteed. So yeah, I hope man. you're open to it, man. Have yeah. a good one. Thank you so much. Awesome, man. Definitely. Stay Cheers, safe, guys. Oh, stay Peace safe out. out there. Fucking for, for, yeah, definitely. For real. It's intense. Yeah. We got to do it. Stay safe, man. Thank you so much.